What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of Yakuza 3 Part 40, where we are doing more sub-stories because there are sub-stories that must be done. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go see Kaede over at her new job. Once we do that, I'm thinking we do some Honest Living Association missions, which there are one of currently. Um, I guess we can pick some of this stuff up. Pick up a gelato since we're here. Actually, we can pick up a lot of them. Looks like Katie's busy. She's, um, kind of has a line backed up in the back there. Um, uh, let's get a chocolate gelato as well. Aren't these just ice creams though? Why do they call them gelato? Oh, what are they saying? Too much spite themselves. Suppose they can't resist their love for gelato in the end. Guess even the hard, hardened businessmen love gelato. I should remember this when I'm at the cabaret club. Oh, the cabaret club stuff. Oh, I see. We still gotta do more of that cabaret club stuff over in Okinawa. There's also the their own version of the cabaret club that you can do in this game where you can see some hostesses which is a weird mini game you can do imagine eating all of this freaking gelato all at once ridiculous okay Oh, Kiryu-san, come by to take a load off? What is this line for? Hmm? Doesn't everyone love ice cream? Kairi san stops standing around and starts taking orders. I'm taking them. Jeez, what's the big rush? Ma'am, please let me take over for Kaede. We've got too many customers waiting. <sighs> Kairi san why are you making our customers wait? I just thought, well, they made the effort to come all the way here. The least they deserve is a bit of friendly conversation. This is a business, not a social club, kayeri san I don't think you're a good fit for the shop. I'll give you the rest of your pay, so don't bother showing up tomorrow or the next day either, because you're fired. Uh, what? Uh, not again. I can't believe I lost another job. Sounds like you need to pull yourself together. I was never this busy when I worked part-time in Okinawa. Aww. I gotta start the job search again. If I don't work, I won't be able to feed myself. <laughs> well, see you later then. I'm gonna see if I can find a job around here. I'll text you if I find something that works out. Okay. Let's go to the Honest Living Association while Kaede is, um, doing her business. Well, that was quick. you son I just got a part-time job at a bowling alley. I should be okay this time because there's no food involved. I'm at a Mac Bowl on Theater Avenue. I know it's gonna work out this time. Yeah, I mean, I know where Mac Bowl is. Mac Bowl? Mac Bowl is. So we'll head directly over there. Oh man, a fight. Well, this can't be helped. Mistakes. There's only two individuals. Okay. Thanks for the 30 grand, dude. I mean, granted, we almost have a million yen, right? But all that is from, like, fighting and stuff. Like, I haven't, like, grinded any money in this game. I haven't needed to. Which is good. I mean, some stories as well. You're fired! What? Are you stupid? You can't just let people leave and pay later. I'm taking our losses out of your wages. Good grief. We're short on staff as it is. Damn it all. Huh? Oh. 
Oh, um, here you, son. I, um, got fired again. Yeah, I, uh, I saw. I even cut it at a bowling alley. I've probably been fired from every place in Kamurocho that'll hire me. Well, this being Kamurocho, you could always try the clubs. Clubs, huh? I do enjoy my liquor. That's not a bad idea. I love chatting with customers, too. I'll look into it. Thanks, Kiri-san. If you're ever in a rough spot, you can always count on me. It's weird that she's, like, in her 20s. She looks like she's, like, 12. I don't know. That's my observation. I thought there would be, um, a locker key around here. Guess not. Or maybe Kiryu is just getting a little bit older, so he doesn't see it in the same light. Alright. I knew it. Kiryu-san, I interviewed at a hostess club, but I ended up answering every question wrong. I've got a... I've got to work a little bit harder. I'll email you again once I find another job. Talk to you later. Hmm. Okay. Let's try to get to... A sub-story. Not a sub-story, but, um... The Honest Living Association. That was quick. I got a job! Do you know where the Bar Earth Angel and Champion District? Yeah, we know that. I'll be working there. Come stop by. Alright. That's over here, I believe. Club Angel? Yep, Earth Angel. We know the place. We've been there a few times. In this game, and many other times in the others. Hopefully this one works out for Kaede. I mean, he's going to be working for Mama, so. How hard could it be? She's pretty chill. I can't believe how many uh, sub-stories there has been in this game. I feel like there's more in this one than any other Yakuza game we've played up until this date. Which is kind of crazy. Like, I think there's double the sub-stories there is in Yakuza Konami 2 and 1. Time we've utilized that since Kamaki taught us how to do it. All right, let's see if she can do it this time. Probably not. Oh, shit. Why is there a line? There shouldn't be a line to this place. Good. What is this line for? Holy shit! Never seen it so busy. Sarah, would you mind waiting outside? We got a full house, but you're welcome to wait for a spot to open up. Uh, oh, curious on. Welcome. Come by to take a load off. There's Girl's pretty cute. I heard she's from Okinawa. She really knows how to sue this old heart of mine. Heidi chan can I get another order of Rafu and uh, beer, hun? Coming right up. You should have some vegetables too, you know. This shop is perfect for me. It's so much fun too. Yeah? That's good to hear. I swear, all the men in Tokyo are always exhausted. They come here to eat and drink their troubles away so they can give it all... all so they can give it 
there all again tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Kaede chan it's thanks to you that we keep chugging along. Your Okinawan accent is so nice and relaxing. <laughs> That's nice of you to say, sir. Here, have this on the house. Eat up. <laughs> I was gonna get you fired. I had an inkling that you might have been you. Turn out it was. Looks like business is booming. It's all thanks to Kaede chan She said that someone named Kiryu convinced her to come to Tokyo. And she's simply amazing. Here, take this. A token of my thanks. I just kept getting fired from job after job. I was starting to think I couldn't make it in Tokyo, but after coming here, I know I just gotta keep trying my best. That's the spirit. This place might be a good fit for you. <laughs> We're completely packed up right now, so you'll have to swing by again later. When you do, it'll be on the house. Carries on. <clears throat> okay. Well, that job is done. Her sub story was um, a few chapters long. Like you started it back in Okinawa, then what's this? Kiryu san, I figured it all out. I know what I want to do. For the first time since coming here, I feel bad for the mama at Earth Angel, but this isn't where I need to be. I talked to her, and she told me to follow my heart. She's cheering me on, so I'm heading off. I hope to see you again somewhere someday. So she ended up leaving Kamarosho anyway. She's worked there for five minutes. Not even. Two minutes. Right. I meant she's going back to Okinawa. If I had to surmise a guess. Uh, I guess I should go this way. I'm trying to avoid sub-stories to go to the Honest Living Association. So we can do that one mission. And then do a sub-story. This guy's name is Baba. Nice name, dude. Alright, I'll just stomp on you if you're just gonna stand there. Thank you for the toughness Z that I do not care about. Whatever. Alright, the Honest Living Association is just right around the corner. We have one mission from them to do in this chapter, which should be pretty easy. These missions usually are easier. Well, I would say they're a bit tougher skill-wise, but they're easy because you just go to a place, beat the guy up, and then, you know, you're done. Okay, so this guy's name is Koronai, the Silver Bullet. Um, he's at Theater Square in Kamarocho. He uses guns. Your target hitman is Kuranai, who openly advertises his Reaper affiliation. Many have reported sightings him at Theater Square, where he appears every night without fail and peddles his services as a hitman. Are the Reapers trying to hide themselves or come out into the open? The truth remains to be known. Okay. Should be easy. Theoretically. Yep, that's where he is. Um, so the best method to get there is we should be going this way, and then we just go straight up, more or less. Shouldn't be bad, though. Like, not even remotely. A lot of back and forth down the Shikifuku Street. I think that's what the street is called, right? Shikifuku? Oh, this is Taihi Boulevard. Back and forth at Taihi Boulevard. Okay, the hitman should be right here. There he is, in the white suit. Huh? What do you want, you old geezer? Did anybody ever teach you any manners? You're the Reaper Kuranai, aren't you? 
Damn straight. Kurunai, the silver bullet. But how the hell do you know about me? I'm with the Honest Living Association. I want you to come with me. Oh, so you're from the HLA, are ya? Uh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> well. Well, well. How convenient. It just so happens I got something interesting to show you. Follow me. You really think I'm gonna fall for this? Come on, man. I swear, it's really sweet. Just follow me. Who's this freaking weirdo next to him? This ought to be a good place. So where's this thing you were talking about? <laughs> Perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you say? Fascinating, right? Are these guys Reapers too? Nah. I'm the only one. These guys are just here to help me. <laughs> help me give you a good pummeling, that is. <laughs> and what do you hope to accomplish by doing that? Don't you get it? We're taking you hostage. Then we're gonna crush the HLA. I knew someday, so I knew somebody would be coming to see me if I leaked some info about myself. You walked straight into my trap. Too bad for you, dickhead. I see. It's definitely a very clever trap. Too bad it's not going to work. <laughs> Get a load of this joker. I guess we'll just see about that. Huh. Okay. Time to beat the Reaper up and his little goons. They all have guns. Shit. Oh, great. I love fighting individuals with guns, obviously. Oh, this is irritating. Hey, this gun has unlimited ammo, dude. You didn't tell me that. Look at this. Oh, except, like, it has, like, uh, uh. has conditioning. I see that. I see that. Meter building down. That did more damage. I didn't do shit. Whatever. 
break. What the hell? I'm sorry I had to do that. Now start talking about the Reapers. I want details. But I don't know anything. And I sure as hell don't know any of these details you're looking for. I don't buy that. You better start talking. I'm at the very bottom of the heap. I don't even know who the boss is anymore. I swear. Look, I got kicked out of my family for missing a mark. And then some guy I met asked me to join. So I did. That's it. This guy you met wasn't the boss? No. Someone else is in charge. I don't even know the name of the guy who recruited me. He's been talking of a storm, but he's not giving me any real info. Guess that means he's probably just an underling, just like he says. I better turn him over to Abuki now. Great work, Kiryu-san. I'll take it from here. Ibuki-san's waiting for you at headquarters. I'll accompany you there. Great work. I'm glad you're okay. We asked Kuronai all kinds of questions, but it seems he really doesn't know that much about the Reapers. The Reapers are an organization that probably has a lot of rank and file members like him. To get the right guys to the very top, we're going to have to catch up to people in leadership positions. Kiryu san, well done. Here is your reward. We appreciate your hard work. Please come back again. We're really counting on you. Do you have any other work? Oh, actually, yeah, he does. We have some more Honest Living Association work to be done here. Okay. This guy's name is Tokoyami, the masked assassin. Ooh, we don't even know what he looks like. Hiding in deserted places around Kamarojo uses unique weaponry. Your target is Hitman Tokoyami, a mysterious assassin who has hidden his true identity and left no evidence of his previous crimes. We have very little information on him and no clues as to his appearance or his current location. Some reports say he wears a mask, so we can assume only he operates in deserted places where his appearance would not attract any unwanted attention. So, hold on. This guy's name is Tokoyami. So that means this... And then, um... This guy's not gonna give me any actual marker to where to go. Okay. That's fine. We can figure that out for ourselves. Tokoyami. The assassin. Because, um... Kind of want to know where he is. You know what I mean? Do 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 I want to see if we can actually find him. Apparently he hangs out in Taiki Boulevard. Okay. We'll see if that actually is marked. I kind of doubt it. But he's apparently in Taiki Boulevard. Oh, he is marked. Then why the hell did you say you didn't know where he was? Whatever. I wonder how many more of these uh, Honest Living Association missions there are going to be. And if there's going to be some like every chapter. I don't know. I mean, it gives us a lot of money too. A lot of yen. Ooh. Oh, man. Technically, I should be doing some sub-stories, but, I mean, I don't really need to. Technically, this is kind of a sub-story on its own, because you can only do them once. Hmm. 
That was pretty sick. Give me a pearl. Interesting. Do we have any upgrades that we can do? Oh, we need 50. We're close to getting some upgrades. That's fine. Looks like we have time for this last mission, and then we'll have to do the next one next time. Now, they said the Reaper Tokoyami would be lurking in a place where there weren't any people around. This is the most deserted area in Kamarocho, but I don't see anybody wearing a mask. Don't move. If you ever come looking for me again, I'll kill you. If you know what's good for you, then stop poking around on other people's business. Was that the Reaper Tokoyami? Hey, uh, did you see a suspicious looking man in a mask? I told you to mind your own business. Wait, you were the one who threatened me just now? Ignore my warning, will you? <laughs> then it's time for you to pay the price. Alright, old man, let's go. Your weapon is a little switch knife. Okay. Ooh, that's stressed out. Yeah, keep trying to stab me from that range. Look at that gets you. I can block a knife, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's do the head press. Killed him with the counter. <clears throat> don't you usually wear a mask? I used to wear one when I was with the Yakuza, but I don't anymore. Um, why not? I thought you wanted to hide your identity. A masked imposter showed up, pretending to be me. He ruined my reputation and got me kicked out of my family. Besides, wearing a mask around Kamarocha just makes you stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, I'll give you that. These days, the best way to hide your identity is to wear a suit. In this city, a suit is a mask of its own. You've got a point there, too. Are you with the HLA? Yeah, I am. I'll go with you, but I'm not talking. I know you're probably not the kind of guy to talk, but you've got the wrong idea about the HLA. What? The HLA is an organization that helps ex Yakuza. They're not your enemy. They're aren't, they aren't going to force you to confess anything. Once you meet them, you just might form a different opinion of them. Great work, Kiryu-san. I'll take it from here. iruki san is waiting for you at headquarters. I'll accompany you there. Great work. I'm glad you're okay. We thought we were looking for a masked man, but I guess we were completely wrong. Kiryu-san, well done. Here's your reward. We appreciate your hard work. Okay. So, we have one more to do that I see. Zen, the Black Hyena. But we're not going to be doing that today. We'll do that next time. So let's, uh, let's go over to uh, save point and uh, we'll end our episode. So we have one more Honest Living Association mission to do left. 
once we do, we will be off doing um, the actual sub-stories of this chapter, which we haven't done any of yet. Well, that's not true. Kaede was technically one. We just have been doing it on and off for the last few chapters. We just were able to finish it this chapter, which is nice. But I'll see you guys then. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of today's episode, of course. And if you're new to my channel, I've been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so as of yet, feel free to subscribe to me, Squash 924 and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. And um, I'll see you guys all next time on Yakuza 3. Bye-bye.